guys, it's your girl Gorgeous, aka Mika Dan. I know it's been forever since I made a video or whatever, but um, I wanted to come and make a quick little video video for you guys. Um, don't worry, there will be more videos coming in the future. Um, just working on getting some better equipment. I think I said that in one of my previous videos, but anyway. But anyway, so I moved, you guys. I got me a new crib, got me a nice little skybox. Um, and I absolutely love it. I do want to add some, there are some small little decors, you know, little deets that I'm going to add to it eventually. But for the most part, it's pretty much decorated to my liking how I want. I did it all by myself. Um, you guys, if you guys been here it's from the beginning, you know I had um, a stop previously, but it was not furnished. Like, I think the only thing I did was like the living room and um yeah the living room and the kitchen that was really yeah i didn't get a chance to work on everything work on anything else also stay tuned also stay tuned towards the end of this video i'm gonna um you know talk a little bit about land um for you guys who are curious and don't really know about land i'm gonna tell you guys what i know and hopefully it can help you hopefully anybody else that's watching that knows more about land than i do can leave a comment below but anyways let's get started so let me move this out the way um or whatever so let's just get started all right first thing first when you come in you guys you have the elevator you know <laughs> yes ma'am you have the elevator because we on bougie shit you know we on bougie vibes <laughs> anyway so yeah we have the elevator um this is a two store come in you have the stairs and if you go to your right once you get off the elevator you are going to go into my um guest bathroom so let's go check it out oh little faint she let me stop okay <laughs> anyway so this is my bathroom i want as you guys will see as we go on through the tour of my uh, my style box you'll see that i i the scenery definitely sold me on this this skybox and i absolutely love it so i really try not to put too much in front of the windows because like i said i like the scenery um and i actually really love to live in a skybox um but not skybox a high-rise apartment in real life like this like that's one of my goals so i kind of try to decorate like how i really would have it decorated in real life um well, how I, would, how I would want it. So, anyway, so you have the tub over here. Got a nice little rug. Um, or whatever. And, so, yeah. So, this is my bathroom. Got a little shower. Toilet sink. I'm going to add, like, some plants and some pictures in here. Um, along the way. Like I said, um, I just, you know, just, you know, went ahead and went to do the main corner. I was so excited because I like the way I've decorated it so far that I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a um tour um or whatever so if you go straight ahead um you will go to my first guest room so let's go check it out okay guys so this is my first guest bedroom or whatever as you can see it's very plain um you'll see throughout the tour that i pretty much have like a little all white theme like airy clean or whatever theme um except for the bathrooms of course um but you'll see that but yeah this is my first guest bedroom like i said i'm gonna add small decor um add some pictures on the wall maybe do some plants i love this freaking rug um so yeah so this is the first bedroom like i said i don't really have much in front of the windows but yes this is this is her, this is her <laughs> all right guys so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the lower lower level so this is my living room ignore my tv um I don't know why that it is saying <laughs> there's a loading error, whatever. But um, it's one of those like actual TVs that actually works, um, where you can watch YouTube and all that stuff on. So yeah, so this is my living room. I love like the velvet sectional sofa or whatever. And look at the view, guys. Um, I definitely know that I'm going to add some decor on my little TV stand. Um. In my coffee table and you know I got my little Instagram mirror in the back so I could take pictures for the gram okay <laughs> also we have my nice little kitchen I absolutely love um it's resin but I really do love this kitchen um 
left or whatever I had to like squeeze it in but I love it like yeah um but it's pretty much all white um like for my I know for like the living room and the kitchen I wanted to like flow like go together so basically it's like a um, white gold silver kind of thing I guess you could say yeah so this is the kitchen Okay, so finally the kitchen pops up so this is my kitchen um like i said i just want to show you guys i wanted to give it some time to rest before we move on but i absolutely love this kitchen um i definitely will put it uh, probably use this kitchen um when i get a house because i do want to get um a house i've had i actually have a house now um but i plan on selling the land um i want to get a smaller land in a smaller house so yeah so this is my kitchen I absolutely love it. Like I said, like I, you know, it's pretty much like a hallway with a little bit of gold. Um, so next we have the little Instagram filming room. Um, I got like a little closet in the back. I do want to put some more, um, stuff back there. Um, yeah, a powder bag back there. Um, this is my little YouTube desk setup. Of course, I got the little glam mirror for, of course, for the pictures, you know? Um, and then also over here in the corner, I have my little desk. Um, you know, or whatever. So, yeah. I gotta put, I'm gonna get a MacBook and put on the desk and then... Like I said, I'm going to add some little some wall art um, in here. But this is pretty much what I'm going to do. Like I said, just my smaller deets um, to this room. And next, we are going to head upstairs. So, let's go. Yeah, so, this is my um, this is my bar. Um, or whatever. And like I said, you have a nice little view where you can look downstairs, nice little scenery. Um, of course, if you look down, you see the lower level, you see my, um, you see my living room. So I love it. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm not going to put my wash and dryer probably over here somewhere. Um, I don't know, I'm going to find something else like. Uh, to add up here or uh, whatever and then if you we here when you first come in you have my closet it's empty I gotta put some stuff in it you have of course uh, my little nightstand you have my bed and then um, it's really simple I have like a little couch in front of my bed you have of course my TV um, maybe my makeup vanity. Um, of course, I got this my mirror again. I absolutely love this mirror. You guys can probably tell because it's like all over the apartment, and I'm pretty sure when I get a house, it's gonna be all over the house too. I just feel like it's perfect for Instagram pictures. Okay, why not? Um, and then like I said, you have like a little um like a little chair in front of the bed, and then next you have my bathroom. It's pretty much the same layout as a brag is that this thing gets arranged a little differently so yeah so this is my bathroom or oh, whatever the rug is not rising but like i said it's the same rug for downstairs so let's go sit on the couch and i should turn that off Anyway, let's go downstairs and let's talk all about land. Let's talk about land. I, before I went in, before I ended this video, I want to talk about land. Um, for people that are new, sorry to have questions. I don't know too much about land, but like I said, I will tell you what I do know. So when it comes down to land or just getting a place on Second Life or whatever, you have to decide what you want. You have to decide. Do you want to um, rent or buy? Um, that's one thing you have to do. Then next, you have to decide, of course, what you want. So when it comes down to, let's just talk about renting for a second, and then we're going to buy. When it comes down to renting, you um, you will you can rent a community. Um, if you rent in a community, um, 
everything is pretty much i guess you could say included of course if you went to community it's our is the land and then on the land we'll have a house you know um there's a lot of communities there are some communities that are more popular than other like lux la um havenwood um those like the top two i can think of my head it's, it's other it's a lot of communities so you can um do that rent rent a house from community um think some communities may have skyboxes um you can just rent land if you rent land that's okay as well you can rent land and you can get um you could put a skybox or a house on that land it's whatever you would like to do um so that's another option that you have uh, of course if you rent you will be paying weekly you can um pay in advance um that's one thing that you can do pay in advance um i think you know just you could pay like up to like a month or whatever just so whatever you could pay in advance um so that's one option that you can do um next when it comes down to buying a land um you get 1024 square meters square feet what you want to call it you get that for free um and it comes with like 315 51 prims um that's let me tell you that's not a lot so let me say i would say this real quick when it comes down to renting or buying a house prims do matter prims matter because your prims is gonna is is that's gonna um matter of course when it comes down to decorating your place the more um the more prams the more you're gonna be able to do to your to, to do i can't stop do to your place which is you know decorate decorate wise um and so just keep that and just keep that in mind um but yes yeah, so you have um like i said um that or whatever so you get that free so my first land where you guys seen my skybox on well you didn't see the land but you, well you did see the land when i did the cooper body review i was on my land in um on one of my previous videos that was my land i got um i brought that land but i didn't have to pay like no monthly fee for it so if you buy land um and um if you buy land if if it's more than what is what they give you for free if you have a premium account um you're gonna pay you buy the land but you also have like a monthly fee that you are required to pay um for land um so the land like the land that i have uh, okay so let me back up so the land that i brought because they automatically give you like a house or whatever you well you select what house you want and that that house automatically like will come like on a land or whatever i guess you could say um but i got i abandoned that house i just picked the house but i abandoned it so that way i can find um a a, a main land to buy um so that's why i did it first and um like i said so after i paid for that mainland that i wanted excuse me i didn't have to pay anything i didn't have to pay like no monthly fee for that land now once i got the land that i have my house on it's like 4096 square meters whatever you want to call it um i had to pay like 20 dollars a month for it but i'm about to sell it so it's it all depends of course the more the land is the more the more once you buy that land the more um you have to pay everyone it, it varies like how much you have to pay a month for owning that land um you can always buy land and divide it and rent it out to people um or you just buy land and keep it for yourself and do what you want with that so it's all up to you what what would you like to do but those are just some things that i've experienced that i know when it comes down to buying land i know one of my friends um on ssl she bought land like behind my land and i think her month um her land was smaller than mine i can't remember exactly the feet of it but how big it was but i think her monthly fee was like six dollars something like it like i say very it, it just depends on so like i said if you go on marketplace well not marketplace so if you type in if you find land you're gonna pay whatever they charging you to buy that land but like i said you're gonna pay additional i hope i'm not confusing guys um also too when it comes down to finding land um you can either go to the search bar i use firestorm you can go to um the search bar and type in land for sale um and you can search for land that way when it pops up you will um 
so let me just show you let me see if i if i can show you guys so one way is you could type in in the search bar you could type in lynn for sale in the search bar like i said ooh, i cannot type um um over here you can select of course land for sale land for rent you can select like i said this is how what the area so if you have already brought a house and or a skybox and you know you know um the you know the area that you need you could type that in right here um a type this was where you was like um you want a private island you want um mainland you want or whatever and also too you can select your price right and you press reset one whatever or you could just leave it alone um or whatever next you have um so it is like i said it says it modify it or you could just go through the list and see what's all listed um this is how i found my first piece of land um i actually decided i found both of my lands that i had previously um and it's gonna tell you like it, what it is is mainland or private land it's gonna tell you what's the price it's gonna tell you how how big it is so like i said this land right here whoever buys this piece of land that they liked if they liked it they would get this if they have the premium they would get so once they pay for this land pay this amount right here they went because of this is what they give you for free they wouldn't have to pay anything additional so they would just pay this price to own the land and because like i said this is the amount of area that they give you for free that's it that's all they would pay same thing for this and it says land for sale um they, they would pay this price to own the land and then like i said because of this is what they give the amount that they get free they will have to pay anything additional um right here this is where it says land for sale and it says mainland they will pay this price to own the land and then because it is more than this right here they will pay um once they pay this price right here they will pay an additional amount monthly um and once you go on the land you tp to the land so you click on this if you want to check it out um something's gonna pop up um and it's gonna to give you the option to TP to the land. You check it out, or whatever more information. So I can say you would TP to TP there. Um, and once you TP there, you would if you like the land, you will right click on the land and push buy. The now another way that you can look for land, which is very convenient for me, and this is how I found my land for my skybox. You would go to maps. You would click on maps. Um, or whatever. Bye right, guys. So one thing, another way that you would look for land is um you would click on maps and you would make sure that this right here is checked land sale is checked and you would just scroll around you can move um you know slide up or whatever slide down side to side and that's the way you're able to search for land of course all the look all the yellow um boxes that you see on the map with the check sign is land for sale so look at all of this land for sale all of it all of this that all of the yellow boxes that you see and the check boxes i mean the all of the yellow boxes that you see and price tags all of these are nothing but land for sale look at all of this and this is not you know that's all of it so if you want to see like for instance i'm going to click on this right here so if you click on right here it's going to tell you where it says sim corner grassland and it's going to tell you how big it is it's going to um it's going to tell you how big it is some of it have the price most of it don't most of it once you click and go to it it'll tell you the price if you tp to them so what you would do you would click on the box and once you click on the um, box or whatever, like I said, you know, click on it. It's going to tell you how big it is. You're going to press TP. You're going to TP to that location. Um, and once you TP that location, um, if you want it to tell you, like, the price, if you're not sure about the price, you, once you go to the land, you're going to click on the land, um, click on, on the ground somewhere, click on the ground, and you're going to go to a, um, a menu's going to pop up. You're going to click on about land, and it should tell you the price, the the prams, um, the prams or whatever. You can go to object, I think it's object, and you can see, go to about land, click on the object, select object. Oh, excuse me select object from the menu and then they tell you how many prams that you're going to be working with um and then it should tell you the price as well um so that's another way to look for land um or whatever um there are some people 
um, who have like agencies or whatever. I'm not really sure how you do that. Um, I want to say it's Lexi. Um, she's another Second Life YouTuber. She also has a link for those of you who are interested in renting land. Now, if you want to buy land, you would go to the maps, what I just showed you, or you would do just type in a search bar land for sale um if you wanted to buy land if you want to rent you can also go to land for sale and like i said with if you're going to use firestorm search or black dragon search you will modify the search to where you want it to use like rent for land um but that's how if you want to do it that way um but like i said buying land you was you could do those two have those two options in renting land um but i would try to link lexi's video below um the youtube that I'm, I'm referring to because she actually has like a link where you click on and she has like it's, it's like a link and you and um when it pulls up it shows you like all these different lands that are for rent if you're inter interested in renting some people it, it just depends on what you want what you want to do because some people renting land is renting land is more convenient for them it's about what you want like if you if it just depends on how much you play second life it just depends on you what you want to do me buying land is more convenient for me because of the simple fact that there are some times that i don't be on second life like i took like a two or three month break away from second life um and with me buying land um and or whatever the little monthly fee would just come out my accounts and i'm good so it's all about what you want versus because you know some you know if you get busy in real life sometimes you're not able to get on or you know whatever you may about you you plan on getting on but you don't and i know that even if i don't get on i know my land is still my land my land is still secured so that's what i go with that option but if you're renting like you have to get on to um pay pay you pay because otherwise you're gonna get evicted um so that's that i hope i didn't discourage you guys i hope that i was able to help um like i said just do what is convenient for you um either way you're able to get a skybox if you want you're able to get a house if you want you just have to decide do you want to live in a community which of course you live in, like i said you live in a community you're going to be renting you have to decide if you want to get a house or a skybox and if you do that do you want to rent or on that land that it's gonna go on so it's just all about i gotta figure out how to get rid of that red air because that's like a noise just sitting right there by my face but anyways you just have to decide guys what you guys want um i do plan on bringing like i said more videos i want to do game uh gameplay videos like where i show fun stuff that you can do on second life because there's so much stuff that you can do on second life you guys um just bear with me like I said, I'm definitely planning on bringing more videos. Um, I'll probably like do like a recreate my avatar or something. I definitely I'll do like me shopping and stuff as well. Um, but I mainly want to show gameplay, like just me just hanging out with my, just show what I really do on here, and just you know show me like just show just show the fun side of Second Life because like I said, it's so much stuff you can do in Second Life, like so much creating my place, we're decorating my place, not creating, decorating it, bringing my vision to life. Even though I gotta add some more stuff in it, um, once I add some more stuff, and I'll probably sh give you guys another little tour or whatever, um but yeah so this is it thank you guys so much for watching um if you have any questions leave them below i will try to get to your questions try to answer them the best way to my knowledge um or whatever so thank you guys for watching until next time bye